Well, I'm really excited to be here with you today to, to explain you why and how we are building this universal software archive. But let me start by saying, uh, please bear with me. I'm an Italian, married to an Argentinian, living in France, working in computer science, so basically my English is not as elaborated as I would like it to be. But let, let's try to give a, a shot at it anyway. So, if we look around us, we see software everywhere. It powers our industry, fuels our innovation, it's an essential mediator for accessing all digital information, and uh, it's a pillar of modern scientific research. The source code of that software contains precious knowledge, scientific, technical, social knowledge, and more broadly, an increasing part of our own collective knowledge, our own cultural heritage, is embodied in software today. So that's a good thing. But if you look, if you keep looking, you will see that actually our source code, our precious source code, is really spread all around the place. There are so many wonderful platforms we use to develop software and to distribute software. If you look at the pictures, you, I'm sure you will recognize the name of some platforms which are extremely popular 15 years ago, and they are more not so popular today. And the name of platforms which are extremely popular today, but who knows where they will be in 15 years. So the big question is here, we certainly miss a single place where all the source code that has ever been written, with all of its development history, is safely stored to make sure it is accessible, no matter where it has been developed, no matter how it has been distributed, and no matter whether this platform for development and distribution has gone away. And yes, software and our precious source code is fragile. Like all digital information, it can be deleted, corrupted, misplaced, or lost. I mean, human errors, who never hit RM minus RF in the wrong directory in his life, okay? And there are uh, these crashes, natural disasters, fire, we all think about that. But more recently, we have seen malicious attacks, people destroying platform. And, but what is more worrying is that last year, we learned another lesson, the biggest challenge for our source code, for our open source, source code preservation are actually business decisions. If you remember when Gitorios were taken down last year, 100,000 projects needed to find a new place. When Google Cloud was shut down last year, over one million and a half projects needed to move elsewhere. So we know that if we lose a web page, we go to the Internet Archive to, to look for it. Where do we go? If a repository goes away and the platform or the platform where it has been developed, disappears. Th these are just two of the main reasons that pushed us to set up an, an ambitious initiative whose name is Software Heritage that has a precise mission of collecting all the source code which is available publicly on the planet and make sure it is preserved and made accessible in the long term for everybody. Just imagine what you could build on such a platform. And you have all the history of development of all the source code ever done with all the commit histories inside it. You can build application for education, for cultural heritage, for research. I mean, the very large telescope of computer science. You can learn much more interesting things on what we are doing as developers today. Or industry. I mean, having a, this universal reference part number catalog of all pieces of code ever developed, it, it's a fantastic tool. Well, in building this essential infrastructure, we decided to uh, uh, ground it on sound principles. Of course, all of our development is in the open. Our source code, the source code of the platforms, is available, it's open source, and we highly value transparency. But it is not just that. We are here for the long run. We want to be here in 20 years. We want to make sure all the software is available for all the time. And so this is important and we want to build a non-profit, multi-stakeholder organization that will take care of it. No single manager should be able to shut down such a project. And we want our data to be replicated all over the place to make sure fire or malicious attacks don't destroy it. We started our work over a year ago. And if you look at the numbers here that I once are on the website, I encourage you to go and have a look. 
we have already over three billion unique source files archived, and we really aggressively deduplicate everything. Over 600 million commits from more than 25 million projects around them. And what is important is not just a copy of GitHub, there are many around. We also have the, all the history of Debian, all the history of GNU, and we managed, thanks to very helpful people, to salvage a copy of GitOris and Google Code before it was too late. The project was started by INRIA, which is the National Institute of Research in Computer Science in French, extremely uh, well known. And then we have many people sharing our vision and turning into sponsors right now. So my timing up, I don't have the time to tell you much more about this project. But please come and meet us at the OBDW2 booth during the uh, break. And feel free to come and participate. There is space for everybody, individuals to companies. So thanks for your help, uh, for your attention. And then we are really looking forward to work with you uh, on this fantastic new initiative. Thanks a lot.